let's make espresso. I've got this lovely vintage coffee maker here. So let's take the bottom chamber and fill it with water up until the fill line. Usually there's a line inside and it's usually located about the height of the valve. Then we have our little coffee filter, or our coffee chamber. This vintage one has a little extra rubber ring on it. You wanna add your finely ground espresso coffee. And if you like it strong, like I do, you wanna fill it and pat it down. Make sure there's no extra grounds sitting on the edge. Now add the upper chamber and screw it on until it's closed. There you go. This one has an interesting interior, unlike the current model. You can see it looks a little different. Okay, let's add it to the heat. We're gonna turn the heat on high and wait. You can open the lid and take a peek inside to see when it's ready, but you'll likely hear it before you'll see it start to come up. Okay, here it comes. You'll want to close it back up. You don't want to burn yourself. Okay, let's have another look. There it is, close it up. Let it sit and rest when you turn off the heat. And there you have it, a lovely cup of fresh espresso coffee. Enjoy.